Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koe. Welcome. Take a seat, take your coffee, take your tea, and today I'm going to share with you a, sec a secret that people don't even know that I actually harbor. And that secret is the secret to maintaining your figure without ever going to the gym, inclusive of eating whatever you want, whenever you want. And you won't end up in the gym, so yeah. As some of you know, those who follow so for those of you who followed me ever since I started posting on this channel, which was actually last year, you know that I've complained about how people always call me skinny. You know, in Africa, being skinny is like being I don't know what. But anyway, today I'm going to give you the secret of how I maintain my skinniness without going to the gym yes and for those of you who know me personally they know that i eat anything and everything but we are not here to encourage bad habits we are here to encourage the good habits so let's just get into the video today i'm going to tell you the things you can do and that will save you so much money in terms of gym memberships gym costs some of these things may not be fun to do However, hey, going to the gym is not fun. I personally have never gone to the gym, like paid a gym membership. I have done exercises at home, but I've never paid for a gym membership. So let's just get into the video and I'm going to inform you right now. Right now, I'm telling you guys, you'll be surprised. But this product, not product, these things, hmm? these tips I'm going to give you, they actually work. They actually work. And I'm not going to tell you to sit on the couch and be a couch potato, no, because that will not work. So if you think that you're not going to lift a finger, no, 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 no. That's not the message in this video. It entails work, but ordinary things that you can actually do and you will actually avoid gym membership. I've never been to the gym. I've never been to the gym. I don't intend on buying a gym membership and I don't plan whether it's in the long run or whatever, to join a gym. So here are the things that you can actually do that will save you that gym membership money. But if you don't feel like saving money, go ahead and get that membership. But as far as I'm concerned, these are even more sustainable in my opinion. I know I'm rambling so much, but I have to tell you the truth about these tips I'm going to give you. They're sustainable in terms of you don't have to like, you know, for the gym, you have to renew your membership. You have to get out of the bed, get into your car uh, or walk or whatever to the gym in order to do these things. But these things, you actually just do them at home and therefore they are more sustainable. Yeah. And the day you're broke, hey, you can still do them. So they are more sustainable. So let's just get into these three things. And the first one that I'm going to tell you is actually do your chores. Yes, I'm not saying that you footer your house help or you get rid of your house help, or you get rid of your house manager, or anything of the sort, but do your house chores. Yes, do your I house I personally do most of my house chores, believe it or not. Yes. So I do dishes, I clean the house, especially cleaning the house, it definitely, definitely makes you lose weight. Like, there's no way, it's like an exercise. Just as I said, like, this is not about you sitting down on a chair, and losing weight or maintaining your figure while not lifting a finger. No, that's impossible. Human beings, for as long as you're eating, maybe more than you require to eat, you'll definitely add weight. So if you really want to maintain your figure, you have to do things that are like exercise indirectly. And house chores are actually exercise indirectly. They are exercise. Let me just put it that way. And the best part about house chores, that's why I said you may not like them, but that is actually how I have been able to maintain my figure. I actually weighed myself. Uh, what is it called? I weighed myself um, today. I don't know. By the time this video goes up, maybe, yeah, it will be like one week ago. So maybe I weighed myself one week ago. But I discovered that I'm the same weight that I have always been for. It's now going to over a decade that I'm just maintaining this weight. I only add maybe one kilo or lose one kilo, but I never pass past that. Yeah, the only time I passed this is when I was pregnant, and that's a totally different story. But I went back to my body as soon as possible. So 
the first thing you have to do is do your household chores. They actually make you lose weight without even realizing that you're actually exercising indirectly. So don't sit down and order somebody around like, hey, wash the dishes, hey, uh, do the clothes, hey, what? You can actually pick out the chores that you sort of enjoy doing. I personally enjoy cooking, uh, baking, cooking, and also cleaning the house. I prefer to clean the house myself. So I enjoy, I enjoy doing those two things, but I don't like doing clothes, doing dishes. So I have somebody who helps me do that. But when it comes to pick out the chores that you like doing or enjoy doing, and it's actually going to help you yeah, lose weight without you even realizing. If anybody has ever watched um, those product programs that are about obese people in the US and all that, you find that they're normally given uh, told to just do little things. They're just told like maybe to just lift their fingers up and do this. And eventually they slowly by slowly like start, uh, they're told to now stretch out their hand or stretch their legs and all that. I'm talking of the bedridden people and it actually works. So that small extra exercise or effort that you're putting in will actually make you lose weight without even realizing and you won't even need that gym membership. So skip on the gym membership and actually just, you know, do your household chores. So the next tip that I'm going to give you actually that I personally use in order to skip on the gym membership and it allows me to eat whatever I want. Yes. Is to actually, um, yes, make sure that you're eating right portions. I personally only eat when I'm hungry. Let me shock you. I follow my natural instinct. Anybody knows, anybody who lives with me, who has lived with me, knows that I only eat when I'm hungry. Yes, I don't eat because it's lunch hour. No, if it reaches lunch hour and I'm actually full, I only eat when I'm hungry. I won't eat if I'm full, whether lunch hour has reached or not. Okay, let me give you an example. Maybe you've not understood what I'm saying. By I only eat when I'm hungry. And I'm not saying that if you're used to eating all the time, by the way, by the way, the more you eat, the more hungry you get. I'm not talking about that. That's a totally different story. But if you're just a normal person, time only when you're hungry. Don't eat out of cravings. For example, if I've taken tea, if I've had a late tea, yeah, I've had a late tea, for example, at around 10 a.m., Okay. When two one o'clock reaches, I won't eat. I'll only eat when my stomach starts feeling hungry. That's around three, maybe three p.m. Yeah. When my stomach starts, and by the way, I always eat when I'm hungry. Like, if I feel hungry, I look for food. Yeah. Like, I just follow my natural instincts, whether there is food or there is not. Even. Yeah, my fiance normally wonders why do I normally like refuse to eat sometimes because I'm not hungry. I have to wait until I'm hungry and that is when I'll eat. Don't just eat because there is food or don't just eat because it is lunch hour or supper time or breakfast time. Even if I wake up and I'm feeling full. Yeah. I'm not saying you skip on meals, but also follow your body's natural mechanisms. Eat when you're hungry. You know, don't eat when you're hungry, not hungry. You know, don't just stuff your stomach and make it expand for nothing. Eat when you're hungry. Follow your natural body's mechanism. And I think that is one of the reasons that I've not really been adding weight or even fluctuating. So the next tip I'm going to give you guys, and I only said I'm going to give you three tips, and those are the ones I actually use that I'm 100% sure actually affect my body. Like, they do not, they've made me not add weight, they've made me not lose weight, they've made me not, um, what is it called, fluctuate in weight. And above everything else, they've actually saved me gym membership fee or any type of membership fee to do with exercises, whether it's a Zumba class, whatever. Uh, yoga classes or whatever of the sort so the next thing that I normally do although I'll give you a bonus one because there's one that I you know but is is a bit um obvious that I normally do uh, that actually helps me not to, to skip on the gym membership so the next one is walking I walk a lot I walk to work I walk to my place of work I walk to uh, to and from my place of work okay it does help a bit that I actually live near the place of work but even when I'm in town or I've gone somewhere where like I don't need to board a vehicle. Some people board border borders. 
some people board my tattoos, I actually opt to walk. And anybody who knows me knows that I walk a lot. So without you realizing that you're actually exercising, and actually after some time you actually get used to the walking, it doesn't become so difficult. So I walk a lot. And that is one f major factor that has actually, because walking is an exercise. There's no point of you going to a gym when you just have like free pathways and free walkways and you have two legs. You know, our legs were designed, our bodies were designed to walk. So cars, yes, they do help like long distance and whatever. But if it's a short distance, keep your car keys in your pocket and walk. Walk to where you're going. Don't board that boda boda. Walk. Don't board that matatu walk so boda bodas and matatus are actually if you're not a kenyan boda bodas and matatus are just motorbikes they're like motorbike taxis and matatus are just like uh vehicle taxis that are not really taxis like they're bad like, they're like buses mini buses let's say so skip on the matatu and the boda boda and walk and also keep your car keys aside and walk if it's a distance that is walkable you do not have to go with your car everywhere it's more detrimental to your health than you actually know and it's been known all over the world the countries that have the highest rates of like longevity actually do walk a lot so let's keep on the cars yes i know that it's a sign of prestige and all that especially in kenya and africa oh i'm driving to my place of work skip on the prestige and value your life fast so um that is actually what has helped me skip on gym membership. I do walk a lot. I'm telling you, I actually walk so much. Okay, the next um, thing that I, I'm actually very sure has affected, and this is the bonus one, guys. This is just the bonus one. Um, exercise at home. Just... Um, if you're doing all these other three things, I can guarantee you that you're not going to add weight unless you're just eating so excessively. You're not going to add weight. And not only that, um, you might end up losing weight. Uh, if that is your goal, you can actually end up losing weight if you're doing these three items. But another bonus is actually exercise at home. And that is something I actually do. So there are so many uh, YouTube tutorials on different types of exercises. You can just schedule yourself and uh, exercise at home. But I think that can only be done maybe like me. I personally just exercise for the sake because I don't exercise, you know, to add weight. No, I just exercise because I'm used to exercising, but not to lose weight, not to add weight, not to, to you know, not to get a certain body type. No just because i'm used to exercising and i'm assuming it's healthy so just exercise at home and that is definitely going to reduce your gym membership fee okay guys those are the tips that i'm going to give you that have actually helped me to evade paying gym membership fee so if this year 2021 and i know a lot of people their goals are actually to um lose weight some are to maintain their weight some are to reduce on eating Yes, if you do have a problem with these things, seek professional help, definitely. But in case you know that you you know yourself and you know that you can change your lifestyle in any type of way, I'd suggest that you try out these three things. They've actually like really, really helped me avoid expensive costs. And I hopefully I will never have to pay for a gym. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much, people, for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's 2021. It's a new year. Spread some love in this new year and subscribe to my channel. And I normally post content a lot. And yes, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.